News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, musers? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code, and welcome to the weekly update for the first week in January, which started on January 1st, 2018. We are now into the new year, and I decided to start this year off with templates. I just released the first template in the Muse for You shop called Photographer Portfolio Template. I posted a video today showcasing the template. The video link can be found in the show more section below. This week, I also updated the Video Player 2.0 widget. It can now be set to responsive width and height within Adobe Muse to allow elements to resize relative to the video. It is now version 2.8. I have also been developing new widgets during this week that I am excited to release. I'll start off by showcasing the template. So here I'll go to museforyoushop.com. And here you can click subscribe today. And here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. The template is included in this the subscription. Uh, and here we have the photographer portfolio template. So I'll click here. And here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. So here I'll click preview. Uh, here we have the home page. Uh, you can click on work. We have motion and photos. So if I click on discover more, uh, here we have videos. So here we're using the panel reveal hover box widget. So we have that nice effect when you hover over. And if you click, we're using the light box widget to show a video. So you can have a YouTube or Vimeo video. Um, if you did want self-hosted video, you could use the HTML5 video player with light box. Uh, so we have a few different uh, videos here in categories. And you can switch between uh, videos and photos. So here we have the photos page. You can have different categories. And if you click, you can go to a full screen slideshow and you can scroll through. We're using the swiper.js slideshow here. And we have an about page right up here. Here we have yep, the about page and the contact page. All right, so I do go over uh, this template in more detail in the video tutorial I just released earlier today. So that video, if we go back to the template page, that video can be found right here, and I'll leave a link in the show more section below as well. Um, it's a really great template. Um, it's fluid with design, responsive for desktop, tablet, and mobile, a maximum of five breakpoints per page. Pages are organized within the layers panel. There are four main pages, work, home, about, contact. There's two sub pages, stills in motion, and there's one slideshow page. Uh, there's five different master pages. It's fully customizable. The assets are included, and it's for Adobe Muse 2018 and later. So it'll work with all the latest versions of Adobe Muse. Uh, the widgets used in the template are the panel reveal hoverbox widget, the swiper.js slideshow for Adobe Muse widget, the lightbox widget, and the responsive browser height widget. So this template was released this week. And the next thing in the weekly update is the video player 2.0 update. So here I'll go back into Muse. Here I have a blank page. So here I'll open up the library panel here to the right. And if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. And here I'll just type in VP2 and I'll bring in the video player 2.0 at first. So here I'll click old and drag and place into Adobe Muse. And I'll bring in the video player 2.0 HTML5 video. So here I'll click hold and drag, place into Adobe Muse and I'll add a video. So I'll select an MP4 video and we'll do this video here and then we'll select the poster image. So you do want to select at least an MP4 video and a poster image. All right, so I'll go ahead and preview in the browser. And just like that, we have self-hosted video. And I can click play and the video will seek and loop once it's on a live server. And all those details are, when, are within the widget as well. Uh, so one thing with the new update, if I go ahead and set the, the video player to responsive width and height, so I'll click on the widget. And then here within the resize option, I'll say responsive width and height. So I'll just create an element right below the video player, uh, just like that, just a rectangle or a square. And I'll also set this to responsive width and height. So if I preview now in Muse and I resize the browser, we can see that the square is resizing relative to the video player. So it's staying that same distance from the video player. 
If it was just set to responsive width, we'd have a gap between this element and the video player. So I'll preview and I'll resize so we can see we have a gap there. So with the new update, you can now set the video player to responsive width and height and elements will uh, resize relative to the video player just like that. So I have gotten quite a few questions about the responsive options. Uh, when the video player 2.0 first came out, uh, the responsive options were set within the add first widget. But now, uh, I think it was in the 2.1 update, which was quite some time ago, um, the resize option can now be set, or the responsive options can now be set within the resize option in Adobe Muse. Uh, so you can do responsive width, responsive width and height, and stretch to browser width or none as well. If you do say stretch to browser width, um, it is a 16 by nine aspect ratio, so you'll have a really large video if you decide to do, the, uh, to do stretch to browser width. So I'll go ahead and preview, and we just have a really large video, just like that. So I would do either responsive uh, width or responsive width and height. If you do want elements to resize relative to the video player, then I would do responsive width and height. And also in the 2.8 update, the audio player widgets have been fixed. Uh, so they now play uh, audio on mobile devices as well. There was an issue where the audio wasn't playing on mobile devices, uh, so that has been fixed. Okay, so it's now video player uh, 2.0 widget version 2.8. Okay, and the last thing here for the weekly update, there are new widgets in development. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about this, but I am excited to release these widgets. They should be released uh, this upcoming week, and I'll be excited to do video tutorials on that and to release those widgets. So that's it for the weekly update for the first week in January. The photographer portfolio template and the video player 2.0 widget can be found at museforyoushop.com. Uh, this is going to be a big year for Muse for You. I'm currently working on a few projects and I am excited to release those projects once they are finished. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. News for you, awesome websites without code.